you, dear dog. <clears throat> and, and the soul! Uh, now, I can explain. If you will step closer and look where I point, you will see inside of this quartz container is the isolated, extirpated chicken heart. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see it now. Where? Right in there, isn't it? Fascinating. Amazing. My goodness. It really looks like a chicken heart. Oh, and that is what it is. The chicken to whom this heart was a vital organ has been dead already for 17 months. But here in this apparatus, a modification of the robot heart developed by Lindbergh and Carell, this heart has gone on an independent existence, eating away as if it were still the part of a living fowl. Can you imagine that? Of all things. Unbelievable. Wow. Through these tubes, as you can see, a constant stream of liquid is flowing to and from the heart. And this liquid is called Hartman solution and stimulates tissue fluid. You mean it artificially replaces the bloodstream? Uh, yes, the blood. Uh, the solution replaces the blood. But, Doctor, what keeps the, that artificial blood circulating? I will show you here. In this case, I open it. You see? Why, it's a tiny electrically driven pump. Yes, what we call a synchronized alternating pump. It drives the life fluid through the heart at 60 beats per minute. And so the heart lives on and on, though the body it came from is long dead. But, Doctor, you don't mean that this chicken heart can go on living forever. Well, as long as we keep the serum that is circulating fresh, and at the proper temperature, and there is no reason why this heart cannot outlive a thousand generations of all of us. Oh, that chicken heart is a real living 